Hello everyone, one and all people, hello, hi! Your goal is to collect wins through the chest, okay, go! Ooh, let me try! I joined the group, so I'll be able to do it! I bought all of the game passes and 50 limited Robux eggs! Remember, kids, money gets you everything! <laughs> How do they even come up with this stuff? Simulators are a staple of Roblox culture. Granted, they don't really simulate anything, they're just... wait. The thing that makes all of them simulators is the fact that you gotta do stuff in order to get the things you need to progress. So what happens when you remove that factor? The exact same thing, apparently. Well, in reality, now it's just even lazier. So join me as I take you through a trip of games where you get one random stat every second. We start off with every second you get one walk speed. And immediately we are greeted with a starter pack, a good start for our experience. Now, the aim of the game is to wait around and get walk speed so you can traverse the obstacles. We are also greeted with a $3 per month subscription to an easy road pass. This is dumb not even from a greediness standpoint, but from a design standpoint as a whole. You can just refund subscriptions, so what's the point if you can just buy the subscription, get all of the things you need, and then refund it? Is the hope that they just don't refund it? Then again, we all know what the demographic is. Now, the main gameplay we have is that there are a bunch of different roads you can go down for a specific amount of wins. Each one having the same amount, it's just, it depends on, you know, what your poison is. Would you rather do the one where you climb and you have to stop at certain points due to the lava, or do you want to do the one in which you gotta go down a path that disappears? What frustrates me though, is that after you get any amount of wins, your speed just resets to nothing. You can use pets to increase the amount of speed you get, but in the end you just lose it. Unless you pay 50 Robux per time in order to get your speed back. Which, like, I mean, I guess is... What am I even saying? Of course it's not worth it! It's designed to not be worth it! Considering how you can just buy all the stats you need, this game is even worth it in the slightest. So, let's try the next game! No, you're not watching the same footage. This is just the exact same game again, except everyone is on a skateboard with no animations. I would pretend to act surprised, however I've been through this so many times that at this point I just feel null. I've talked about it so many times that I just can't get mad at it anymore. Does that excuse this garbage? No, of course it doesn't. You take the same game and just copy and paste to both one different thing, and all of a sudden you have a new experience now. Same music, same theming, same pets, same everything. It's just now, you're on a skateboard. It's like taking Strasm and putting a hat on him. Hey, stars! Shut up, you're not in this episode. Alright, what's next? I said, what's next? I said, oh wait, this is actually different. Not by a long shot though, there's a different map, but this is basically just the same thing but with jump power. At the very least, it's like slightly, ever so slightly more fun than the speed game. It's like comparing two RNG games, they're both basically the same experience. The one you get for gaining height basically has zero gameplay whatsoever. I mean, like, not even the same type of gameplay as before. You're on a base plate. Why would you buy the starter pack if there's no gameplay to begin with? I mean, I guess, like, once you reach a certain height, you can, like, rebirth or something, but... I mean, it's not like that does anything. It's basically just resetting, except you get more height per second. Oh my goodness. 
They also made a more linear styled one that basically merges both together. I guess there are like multiple different worlds and you go through just generic courses through all of them. I didn't even bother to get the first area unlocked, but like, I assume it's the same. Couldn't really see anything past jump one though. They also made one for damage, where you just, I don't know, fight stationary NPCs. I also forgot to mention that you can buy trails for basically no use whatsoever. You get them with wins, and I don't know why it's encouraging you to buy wins if the trails don't do anything. And finally, we're at the last one I bother to talk about this studio. Not the last one of this video, but hey, either way, it's the end of an era. In a way, this kind of reminds me of that other game studio that basically copied everything they made. They also made a game similar to this. Not sure if they're friends, or if it's just some crazy coincidence, but either way, we're here. Oh yeah, and there are also gears that do nothing. Yay! Finally, something different after the same music and same game over and over again. This one isn't really that better in terms of gameplay, though. You don't get wins just by completing a course. You get wins by killing other players. This game is entirely dependent on its player base to survive. And if you're in a server where everyone is good and you're bad, you have no chance unless you grind. Also, god damn it, use the same monetization tactics as the simulator video with the whole play for 25 minutes thing. I mean, like, it's not as bad, but still, the fact that they even decided to do that is just scummy. Don't forget to stay in the game for an hour for a slight speed increase! Plus One Heat Every Second has a minute-long unskippable tutorial where you watch a cutscene. We don't have to have a minute-long tutorial to figure this out. We can just walk up to it. The instructions are already right there. It's not like your target audience are literal toddlers. Oh wait, they are. Besides the fact that you can spend a thousand Robux for 30 seconds of rainbow pets, the main gameplay ain't really that good either. You walk. That's it. All you do is just walk. It's not even marketed like that. You, you just... It's one heat every second. What does one heat do? Oh, it g increases the range of the amount of snow you melt, I guess. I mean, what else were they gonna do? All in all, not very intuitive game. In this game called Plus One Pingus Every Second, you play as Pingus Head as you gain Pingus Speed gradually. You can use your Pingus Speed to traverse the Pingus Blocks in order to collect Pingus Wins. All jokes aside, this is just a pretty generic running simulator. I'm shocked that they decided to lock Auto Run behind the group. I mean, it's a good way to get people to join your group, but seriously, buddy? It just has the generic stuff, being able to buy all the stats, being able to kill everyone, teleporting and stuff. You know, all the stuff that make these games these games. Now, plus one pizza per second actually feels like a proper simulator. You know, limited pets for Robux and stuff. Oh yeah, and the fact that the one they advertise is Christmas and summer just makes me laugh, because like, it just makes me think that it either isn't updated, or they're just selling this really late. As for monetization tactics, it's just the stuff we expect. Daily rewards, premium membership stuff, I guess. Robux egg, exclusive pet, limited stock stuff, game passes, uh, boosts and stuff. And all boosts, 9,999, okay. I'm pretty sure making fake sales is illegal. And to top it all off, time eggs, yay! You don't really do anything for most of it either, it's just a click to upgrade the pizza, oh my goodness. At the very least, they were smart enough to make the pizza purchases not static and just actually scale with the amount of pizza you have. That just encourages you to keep buying it until you eventually manage to win the game through just spending with Robux alone. And yes, there's also a battle pass. Why wouldn't there be a battle pass? Plus one size per second to me just feels like AFK simulator. 
all you do is just wait around till you get tall enough to get a win, and then once you do, the process repeats until you get to the next zone. But again, it doesn't matter because you can just buy progression with a cheap amount of Robux. Do you really think everyone on the leaderboard didn't pay money? Plus One Jump Race is also AFK Simulator gameplay because you can just switch on an auto jump switch. You can tell how much they care about this game because the 2023 egg is still in stock. Besides the not limited time egg, we also have things like 2 times jump, 2 times pets, whatever, whatever, you've seen this before. Just pay your way until the end, not like anybody cares. Can we just see like one type of these games where you can't just buy your way until the end? That would just be so good. Unfortunately, you're watching a Starism video and good things rarely ever happen. We've got three games left, and one of them is plus one money every second, featuring the most boring map design for one of these games I've seen. The gameplay loop this time? Walk into doors to spend your money. You can also spend the wins that you get from spending money on the doors for pets in which you can get more. Yay, I love this gameplay loop. It's totally not repetitive. It even doesn't like you AFKing in some of the later ones, because they just have stuff like jump. Not like you can just hold jump. Plus one speed per second, but your ball also starts with, with a starter pack. How fun! And a mythical pet pack. And daily rewards where it costs a thousand Robux to skip the last timer. Also, another thing. They for some reason lock some Robux purchases behind a win counter? Why would you do that? There's like genuinely no reason to lock something like this behind that. Are you just giving up earning on money at this point? In every case, this is just another one of those games. Trails that do absolutely nothing, free premium rewards, generic courses and eggs, a spin the wheel function. We've seen all of this before, it's nothing new to us. Just another game trying to capitalize off this concept. Now, what's our final game? Well, wouldn't you know it, it's the exact same thing but jumping is added. I mean, I like the idea of combining two of these, but it's already been poorly executed in the past. I thought this one would do better, but it just doesn't. Especially since you're copying your framework to make it. Just at least try to be more original. And with that, we've reached the end of our little escapade. Yeah, a lot of the tactics here we've already seen before in other simulators, which is why I classify these games as them. Despite not directly having simulator in the title, it's the exact same gameplay loop through and through. I hope to one day see this concept executed in a unique fashion that doesn't let you buy your way to the end of the game. Or maybe somebody already has, but it's just buried under all of the copies. Or maybe not, maybe all these games are just bad. Either way, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time! Yeah, sure, give us bad attack, I don't care.